Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. Proud mode difficulty. And boy, last time did we find out what proud mode difficulty really was all about when Ursula kept kicking our butts. I ended up having to load the game because she made me waste one of my few precious Mega Elixirs on her. She is not worth a Mega Elixir if I cannot actually kill her. So yeah, I did not much between last episode and this. All I really have changed is um, the fact that I now have arrow in my hot slot because I to admit I was getting a little annoyed so I looked up some things on Ursula real quick and it turns out that small thunder attack that she periodically casts throughout the fight if you have arrow up you are pretty much unaffected by it so that'll be useful to have I'm gonna skip that scene because we've already seen it three times and totally Not so fast. and Get that's just pretty that it works after all, I took no damage from that attack there. Away. Smash her ugly face. That's the big problem that I am having, in all honesty, is that I cannot seem to get close enough to her to do anything to her effectively. The hitbox on her is so small, and she's got such a large area. I don't even know how many times it was during the last fight that I got caught on her neck fat. It was just stupid and ridiculous how much that happened. It makes this fight endlessly difficult. No! It didn't even let me get it up in time. Really. <sighs> okay. It's ridiculous that I'm going to have to resort to it for Ursula. But I'm going to have to go try hard mode on her. So, yeah. Let's see here. We're going to want Mega Potion. Mega Potion. Mega Potion, Mega Potion, and Mega Potions. Oh. No. Mega Potion. There we go. We got the Mega Potions there. Next, we're going to... Uh, no, they're fine without the items. They'll just waste them. Powerful weapon that is difficult to deflect. No, it's our strongest physical attacker, and that's all we really need for this. And Ariel, I'm not gonna bother equipping anything on because we'll probably end up forgetting she has anything even equipped to her. Alright. So you know what it means when I go try hard. No talkie from me, from Solrak Dragon, because I have to put all my focus in on the game. So here we go. <sighs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Sorry, please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't allow you to follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, what? That crystal? What? Did, why'd you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. Keybear, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. I try to also hold the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course. That's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. Attain the power of thunder. So thunder upgrades Thundara, and we obtained Ansem's report number three. Quite battle. That was so difficult of a battle. Much difficult. Many, many sadness and tears. Ursula's gone and the tribe has been recovered by relief now if only Ariel would settle down. But she's right there, you know. Time has come to use your key, the keyholes in Ariel's girdle. She never knew of its existence. She's standing right there. Maybe her longing for other worlds turned to it. Nope, nothing else. Alright. 
so yeah, we're told where the keyhole is, good to know. But, um, yeah, so, it's kind of a given we would know where the keyhole was, given that that's what the crystal... Why else would Triton be angry at the Key Bear for interfering? Destroy a crystal trident inside of Ariel's Grotto for it, unless it had something to do with the keyhole. Logic dictates that the keyhole is in fact in Ariel's Grotto, probably where that crystal trident was, and we'll find out if the logic is correct. And it usually is. There's Flounder. And then we have a... She's got the trident. What does she get to have the trident? I want the trident. It's got super power. Full power. Make me a great keyblade wielder. I'm sure. And then having the trident shine there causes some geyser bubbles. A metaphysical key this time. Not an actual physical keyhole, but a metaphysical one that has no basis anywhere else. And we lock the heart. We lock the door of this world's heart. Woo! Tell me, Sora. Your world? What's it like? All about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's Way okay. to dodge the question. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. Maybe. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. Just don't listen to any more sea witches, okay? Because <sighs> that's... Well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. Oh, Sebastian, you're such... you're so crabby when it comes to other worlds. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. We obtained Crab Claw, so we finally have ourselves with a new Keyblade. Let's see if we can actually use it, though. So, three wishes to Crab Claw. Crab Claw, it deals the same amount of... gives us the same strength boost, but it also boosts our magic and summon power, so we'll go with Crab Claw instead. As for after that, I believe abilities were next. We obtained Aerial Sweep, leap at an enemy, and deal strike a mighty blow. We definitely want that because we can do quite plenty of airborne enemies. And then Donald obtained Leaf Racer. We can unequip Treasure Magnet, and then MP Haste for Leaf Racer. Because he does tend to cure us, and I don't like it when he ends up um, getting knocked out of his cure because he struck by an enemy. Anyways, that is it for Atlantica. Um, real quickly though, I think I'll do this here rather than at the end of the video. I'm going to read off Ansem's report number three. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing that I one thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of the sounds. They are multiplying underground, even as I write this report. They still need a home. Those who lack hearts, I will call them the hearts. Which, in all honesty, is probably the least accurate name he could have come up with for them. I mean, we know for a fact that they have hearts. They're just corrupted in a shell of darkness. They're not heartless. They're corrupted, pretty much. I mean, I get it, Heartless sounds more intimidating and slightly more appropriate because it leaves people without their hearts, but the actual enemies, they're not Heartless, they're just without hearts. <sighs> Anyways, we've sealed off the keyhole, which means we are done with this world. Of course, where does that mean we're gonna go next? Are we gonna journey to a new world? No, we are not. We are instead going to head all the way back to Traverse Town. 
for two reasons. The first, to see if we can't buy those higher tier items for WP so that they can, um, more here. Oh yeah, be more effective in battle. Uh, excuse me. And then, outside of that, we're also going to stop by the, Gump the Moogle shop to see if we can't synthesize anything further. And then we're going to head over to Merlin's place to help out Winnie the Pooh again since we got a torn page of Ariel's Grotto. Ooh, that was a bit of a mouthful. <clears throat> Anyways, in Traverse Town, no longer a dolphin man. Because I'm convinced Sora was not a merman. He did not. Mermaids? Mermen do not have that little extra tail to it. It was either Shark Man or Dolphin Man. Let's shop. Let's buy. Alright, so it was the silver mallet I couldn't afford for Donald. As for Goofy, it was the Goblin Shield. So we're still short a bit on cash to buy both. So let's sell from stock. Uh, we got... Three extra Proterra chains, an extra Protect chain, extra Fire ring, Vera ring, Thunder ring, and... Yeah. Okay, we can definitely afford to buy those two items for them now. So silver Mallet, and Golem Shield. There we go. Never mind, and let's see if they will like these new items. Not Sora. Donald shooting star into the silver hammer. No, we need the extra magic. Sorry. The Gigas Fist into the Golem Shield again. No, the Gigas Fist is better. So in other words, we wasted our money somewhat. I mean, I guess it goes towards my completionist sort of mindset where I must have at least one of every item. Or so help me, I will freak out, but yeah. Uh, I want to shop with you, actually, because I read that you should increase assembly area. I need this. There we go. So that means that we should have a larger area with which to assemble our gummy ships, which means I can possibly build a better one. Next up is into the Moogle shop here. Synthesize. Let's synthesize. No. Not wasting. Uh, nothing new can be synthesized. We're missing a blazing stone, a lightning stone for the Moogle band. Frost and Thunder gems are the only thing we're missing for the rune armor, which honestly we could probably get if we camped out. Actually, Atlantica, now that I think about it. The EXP earring requires a fury stone, serenity power, and dark matter. And then these require the blaze and frost shards. So yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to have to look into doing between this next this episode and next is farming materials for the gummy, for the moogles. I might do, no, I'm not going to do that during my off time. But we know what we need. Anyways, next we're going to go down here because I realized that I had forgotten to mail off the 10 postcard. It gives us a defense up for mailing it off. Thanks for sending all 10 postcards. No more postcards, nothing new text-wise. Poor kid doesn't know what happened to his parents. Let's go to our stock and use that defense up on Sora real quick. There we go. Sora is a bit more defensive. Okay. Let's head to the third district from here and get to Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I don't remember the song that Good lord, Donald! Let me do something! Thunder. Donald! Stop stealing all my kills! Donald stole all my kills there, man! That's not cool! I was really hoping to get those kills. Anyways... Ignoring my little pouty fest from not getting those kills because Donald stole them from me. Let's hop on over to Merlin's place. Really, you'd think he would have built a bridge or something by now, considering how fast he got this place set up inside. Alright. And so we need the Pooh's 
Oh. Exhibit! Sorry for the yawn! Really long yawn! Wow, that was a really long, really loud and long yawn. Yeah. And now. This place? No. This place, this is new. Yeah, this is definitely new. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. Take a look. Sure, let's take a look at this clearing crowded with tree stumps. I messed that pronunciation and it wasn't even a tongue twister. Like, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, looks like we got us a Tigger. We saw a Pooh Bear back there. Who else do we got, though? Uh, let's see, what let's see. Oh. oh, it's Piglet! I wonder what this is. I don't know. Oh. It's apparently a geyser. No. I don't know. Oh, there's a chest in here. How do I get you? There we go. A mithril. That's actually a very good item. Just find it randomly. Uh, did I get on that from here? Oh, come on. I think that's how I get to it. I'm completely ignoring who right now. No. No! Darn it. I'm completely ignoring who right now because I want to see what this leads to. Come on. There we go. Up there. Then hop up there. Now we have access to up here. Which gives us access to up here. Which contains a mithril shard. Okay. Um, where to go from here? No, I can't land up there. Let's see what Piglet has to say now that that is like, elevated. Still wonders what it is. So Piglet. Only poo meat matches your up. Can't even think of the right word. Oblivious. Yes. Yes. As to what things were. Can't go up there, so what does poo have to say here? This tree doesn't have honey, I see. I see. So poo is clearly not the main person of this um, area. Which leaves only or rather, not people, but beings. Wow. That's another geyser. There's one sprung up. Okay, we need to get on that. Come on, hop up on there. Real quick, Sora. There we go. Found a rare nut. Okay. Um, I guess talk to these two. This here is my bounce spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. You want to bounce too, Sora? It's lots of fun. Okay, sure. To bounce with the finest, you'll need some pointers from the finest. Who's talking now, though? But, Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. And Owl nods to acknowledge that. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. So we're not getting advice from Owl this time. We're just more clear to the point that he is that who is not the main protagonist of this page. It's Tigger. Bounce this way, please. So he wants us to bounce over there. Okay. We're over here now, Tigger. Tigger bounce. Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern, then follow his lead. Here's a little warm-up. So there, 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 there. That's easy enough. I'm kind of surprised that little kangaroo guy could make that all the way. I think his name is just Rue. Oh man, I don't have high jump here. At least I don't have it right now. That was easy enough. That little achievement sound, yay. Alright, now it gets tricky. Okay. Why are you looping, Tigger? 
Digger, that kind of looping is not cool, man. There. Here. Here. No! I failed. I'm a parkour noob. I can't skip this either. Well, this is a little bit of an annoyance. <clears throat> I mean, I know the thing, but still. Up. Up. We're not hopping. We are bouncing. Bouncy bouncy. Bouncy bouncy. Bouncy. Bouncy bounce. That was close. You're doing fantastical. This'll be the last one. So there. So we gotta make it up there, then there, 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 there. Okay. Well, that was easy to get up here. Kind of implies that we're lighter than bigger. Which is a bit strange. Because Digger's smaller than us, but okay. Anything else? You got mighty good. Uh, you've gotten mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Right, Rue? Hey, Tigger. I think he's ready for the big one. Well, there's only one way to find out. Tigger's giant pot. Whack the nuts back at the pot to shatter it. <laughs> I think the higher up I hit them, the more points I receive. Yes, the higher up I hit them, rather, the sooner that I hit them, the more points I get. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? Oh, I thought the game had frozen on me for a minute. Back over here. I see. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, you couldn't do it. I guess you could. Try again. Yep. Let's try again. <laughs> Did I seriously fall? <laughs> I'm gonna keep falling at this rate. did it before 30 seconds too, which was the real stickler. And in here we find ourselves with an AP up. Very nice. Save that, I think. Alright. Now... What's next? Oh, sorry, you're good at everything. Then we talk to Tigger. Let's go try the seesaw. Okay. Let's go and... Up. Never mind right now, actually. Or actually, I think I do need that, but it depends um, who I want to be my partner. I think I'll have Tigger be my partner. Whoa, Nelly! Tigger, you got some bad jumps, bro. Especially if you can fling me that far. Alright, then I want to head over there, I think. Yeah. Jump! Nope, I guess not. I can't make that jump. I know you can do everything here the first try, so maybe I'm not supposed to jump there. I'm supposed to go up this tree, maybe? Yeah, that looks like it. There. 
looks to be a little alcove there. And there is one here. And we slide out where Pooh was. And we pick up a shield 2G. So that would be um another gummy ship part. That's the word I was looking for. Gummy. Alright, now I think we want Rue to be our partner because he'll bring us to a shorter end of here. And we just need to jump into this actually. Sora, get the nut. Get the nut, Sora. Did we seriously just fall without getting the nut? Okay. Grab the rare nut, Sora. Grab it. Maybe we can only hold one at a time. Maybe we get the rare nuts to do that. No! Alright. Who do we give the rare nuts to? You? Yes! Give him the rare nuts. Okay. Give me room! Yes! It is only one at a time. Alright. It's no. Now it's gonna be tricky to get in this little alcove. No! Oh, come on, man. Owl. I didn't even get that, I was clicking too fast there. Alright, Rue, come on. Alright, come on. Wait. Let's grab that one. Alright, so... Oh, no, no! <clears throat> I can get in there, I know I can. It just doesn't want me to. Mithril Shard, come on. We can do this, we can do this, do this. Maybe this is the only opening area there is. No, come on. I'll be back when I make that. Okay, made it in here. Let's open this chest and we find dark matter in there. Very nice. And while I was um, doing that, I noticed that I was pretty much out of time for this video, so yeah, I really need to finish this up quickly. That is the last nut I need, I think. Uh, excuse me, I believe. Um, I want to use you, I think, to get it, because you got me closest to the turret. Yeah, you definitely got me the closest to this turret. So, from here... Gonna want... Yes! Alright, we got the final rare nut in this area. Like I think it is. In fact, I'm positive it is. I don't see any more anywhere, so let's go and talk to Owl real quick. Talk to Owl. This one here is your turn and AP up. And do you have anything more to say? There's still another nut here. Where? I do not see any further nuts. There is the nut! <sighs> you know what, I'm just gonna have to call an episode here because I'm way past, well not, well yeah, probably way past time now. So, next time we'll find this final nut here in the 100 acre woods. Until then though, I have been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. Wow, we got a lot of set up there um yeah leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment if you want to check out some more videos by me then be sure to check out my channel below and um while you're checking it out drop me a subscription i'd really appreciate it i've got tons upon tons of vids on there from dark souls to kingdom hearts birth by sleep and eventually the whole kingdom hearts series and yeah outside of all of that i will see you all next time have a fantastic day, everybody. Where's this last night? Is it anywhere? It might be a day. But there's more. Found it! Let's grab it real quick. Come on, now I can get up there. Wait, hop. This is real quick. Hop. Skip. And jump away for the final nut. I hope. Come on, is it? 
Sorry to say, and we obtained my throne. All right.